Hello everyone. I am back to play with the fourth art Saturday video hop. Uh, this hop was set up by Mary at the Mary LTA and uh, there, I don't know how many players there are this month as I make this video because, um, but last month there was 14 players. So this is going to be a fun hop. I can guarantee it. And thank you, Mary, so much for setting it up. Our theme this month was to, it's called In the Style of, and choose an art style. For example, abstract folk, impressionism, that kind of thing. And then we are supposed to create our piece of art in that style. Um, I, of course, chose abstract art because I would guess that's what I do a lot of. <laughs> um, and I thought I would read you this little definition of abstract art that I found. Abstract art is art that does not attempt to represent an accurate depiction of a visual reality, but instead uses shapes, colors, forms, and gestural marks to achieve it to achieve its effect. Strictly speaking, the word abstract means to separate or withdraw something from something else. The term can be implied to art that is based an object, figure, or landscape where forms have been simplified or schematized. That's a really strange word. It is also applied to art that uses forms such as geometric shapes, or gestural marks which have no source at all in an external visual reality. Some artists of this pure abstraction have preferred terms such as concrete art or non-objective art, but in practice the word abstract is used across the board and the distinction between the two is not always obvious. Abstract art is often seen as carrying a moral dimension in that it can be seen to stand for virtues such as order, purity, simplicity, and spirituality. Since the early 1900s, abstract art has formed a central stream of modern art. Okay, guys. I do kind of quite often do what I would consider abstract art. And today we're going to do it a little differently. I also do a lot of collage. So what I have is I have some of my painted papers and I have five different painty papers. I'm just making sure I can kind of get them all out here. And as you can see, they have sort of different values. They are not, they're not super different in their value, but they do have a little bit of change in value. Um, they are not all the same color. They, I mean, you, you could do it with whatever, but one of the things I wanted was sort of a, a difference in value because of the idea I have today. Um, I am going to probably have to speed this up, so I am going to just take these pieces and pile them up into one pile. This is my base. This is what I'm going to use for my um, my substrate. These are the pieces I'm going to use. Um, I'm going to get quiet here now and work on my project. I'm going to try to bring you in just a little bit so that you can see a little bit better. And I'll be back at the end and we'll talk about what I'm done.
Okay, guys, um, I am I really, really, really like how this came out. Um, it's it was fun. Now, most of you know that I would normally have used Mod Podge or my my collage medium and put that down. Um, I will tell you the Posca pins do draw nicer over the top of Mod Podge than they do on straight painty paper. Not a big deal. One of the reasons I used glue stick this time was to uh, make the video just a little shorter than having to wait for Mod Podge to dry. Um, and Mod Podge is messy, and I, for this particular video, I just wanted to um, show you the technique I had in mind. And now, one of the really fun things about having layered all five of my papers and cutting them up all at the same time man, means that I have uh, four more sets of papers that I could do four more um, substrates exactly the same way but with different colors which will be fun to play with. Uh, I'm not going to try to do that in this video but um, you know each one of the pieces that I cut there's another one that I could use to make another piece this way. At the same time, I could use these pieces in another project. So it, it all depends on what I decide I want to do. I will probably Mod Podge over the surface of this just to make sure that the um, glue stick holds everything down. That's just me. It's not necessary. It's just the way I tend to work. Uh, I really like it. Uh, as far as representational, you can decide if it's something that you see. Um, to me, it looks very much like um, hills in the distance, but that wasn't what I was going for. It was just what happens. Um, make sure to click the link in the description box down below. The top link will take you to the next video. And if you always click on the top link, in each person's description box that link will take you to the very next video in the list 
And when you get finished with all of the um, videos, you'll be right back here to me. Now, the other thing is that I really, really, really want to thank Mary at the Mary Altier for setting up this hop. Do make sure to like and subscribe and comment on people's videos so that they know that you've seen them. And I hope that this brings you a lot of joy in hopping around and seeing what different people will do. We did not all, I'm sure, choose abstract art. I do a lot of abstract art, so that was my choice. Um, I can't wait to see what other people have chosen. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoy. I hope you will like, comment, subscribe. And now I hope you go have fun, watch the other videos, and make some art. Have a great day. Bye-bye.